So we sold our house in Brisbane, Australia. And then I said goodbye to every single human that ever made an impact on my life in the last 33 years. And then I packed up with my ex-husband and my three kids to move to the land of God, Bali. Now this is my life. Give me your hands and I'll hold it. People, help the pee. <laughs> you can tell my voice needs a little bit of a tune up, a little bit of a tune up for this fine Friday morning, this fine, divine, sublime Friday morning. It's such an honor to be here with you today to talk to you about something that I have dealt with in my time. Now, before I go deep with this, before I unlock and uncover all the pieces that is what is blocking you from a lap beyond your wildest dreams, from limitless wealth, from money that just never stops flowing, from this insane amount of overflow, no matter where you are in life and business, maybe you're making your dream months and you want to go deeper. Maybe you are just starting out and you're so excited for more than, but you're having this dread every day when you're waking up, the anxiety, the overwhelm, the depression, whatever it may be. Before I dive in, I want you to know this. I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor. And so if you are on medication or you are on anything, then make sure you speak to your doctor. Make sure that you go and see somebody that can help you before you jump off any medication or anything like that. What I do know and what I can really help you with is this. From the age of about 15 to 18, actually it was longer than that till about 22, 23. And I would say postnatal depression without even realizing it. I suffered insane amounts of depression, insane amounts of anxiety, insane amounts of overwhelm. And I, if you know my story, you know that I ended in and out of hospital for over four times for ODing, for not wanting to live anymore, for completely giving up on this journey and being like, I'm out guys, I'm out, I don't want this. And it was what my dad did. So it was obviously in my subconscious mind that, hey, if you don't like life, you can just exit. Mind you, God had greater things for me. Life had greater things for me. The universe had greater things for me. And so I just was spared. I was spared. I remember on my fourth and final attempt, I was so angry that I was still alive. And I was like, okay, I'm still here, which means I failed at trying to end it all. So now I have to be here and live it all. And that's exactly what I did. But the journey from insane amounts of anxiety, overwhelm, discomfort to the life beyond my wildest dreams that I live now, the waking up with joy in my heart, knowing that I'm literally on holiday every single day. I live like I'm retired. I do what I desire, what lights me up, or to serve, to, to be a vessel, to be this light, to go, where we have me go, what we have me do, what we have me say, and to whom? That's what I do every day. I'm just like, who can I help today? How can I be of service? And here I am being of service to you because I know that this is a big thing in our society. Now, what I want you to know from a soul level is that the anxiety, the overwhelm, the depression, the discomfort, and I, I'm not, I'm not going to use the word discomfort because this is this can be a little bit of a mind fuck. Discomfort is good. Going into the chrysalis for the tension, that's discomfort. That's how you grow your wings. That is good. But the overwhelm every single day, these insane feelings that you're just like, holy crap, and they're not going away, and it's every single day, and you're feeling anxious, and you're feeling depressed. It's like your soul putting on the flashlights going, hey, you're completely out of alignment. You're not living the life that your soul came here to do. Can you please just take a step back, observe, look at what needs to shift so that you can start waking up and being happy every day? Because you don't need to be anxious. You do not need to be anxious. You do not need to be depressed. You do not need to feel overwhelmed. Overwhelm is a state that we choose based on the fact that we're just too overstimulated and we're just like, oh, it's too much. And we're not connected to self. We're not connected to our soul. We're not connected to the depths of all that we are. And so this often blocks a lot of my clients with insane amounts of overflow, insane amounts of money beyond the program that their parents helps them create, which gives them their blueprint for now. But then they can't go to the next level because of the anxiety, because of the overwhelm, because of the depression. And the truth is that if you desire to go to the next level so easily, so effortlessly, you have to realize that the overwhelm, the anxiety and the depression are warning signs. Or And I don't want to scare you and be like, warning sign, warning sign. But it's just your body going, hey, it's actually meant to be way easier than this. It's actually meant to be way more effortless than this. 
when you are moving in tune with the soundtrack of your soul and you're moving in tune with the soundtrack of your life, it's effortless. It's easy. You get to turn up with this beautiful flow, with this beautiful joy in your heart. And yes, it's going to expand you. Yes, it's going to be crazy. Yes, it's going to move you to places that maybe you never thought humanly possible. But the truth is, if you desire a life beyond your wildest dreams, there's a highway <clears throat> that can take you there. And this highway is fast and it's fun and it's a roller coaster. But the anxiety and the depression and the overwhelm is almost like going, hey, is this relationship really the right relationship for you or did you choose it from a childhood wound? Is this relationship really the right thing that's gonna serve you and get you there? Is this house really the house that you desire to live in? Is this life really the life that your soul would have chosen knowing that you can have everything that you fully desire and more or do you want more for yourself? Do you desire more for yourself? Are you ready for more? Are you ready to create more? Are you ready to move into more? Because the truth is that you don't need to feel anxiety and depression and overwhelm. You don't. For many, 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 many years, I felt it. Every single day, I would wake up feeling anxious, feeling overwhelmed, feeling crazy, feeling like this life wasn't for me. And then I started to clean up all the mess. I cleaned up all the things that were making me anxious. And most people go, I'm just anxious. But they don't go, okay, the reason I'm anxious is because my soul is going ding, 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 ding. All your guides, the entire universe is like ding, ding, ding. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You're off path. You're out of alignment. This is not serving you. This life that you're living is not serving you because of the anxiety, because of the overwhelm. Now, don't get me wrong. Maybe you're drinking too much coffee. Maybe there's just past trauma and you don't need to completely demolish your life. But what I really need to speak true to you right now that's going to be a little bit crazy is that Think about all the things in the universe. What, and I, I live in Bali, so what do they do every day? They do offerings to the gods, which you could use the word as sacrifice, giving. You have to almost give something away to get something new. The reason that my life took off so quickly, so fast, so beautifully, so effortlessly, like a 24 seven holiday is because I demolished my old life. I burnt it to the ground. And I'm not saying that you have to do that. You can do small things every day and get slow results. But the truth is that the caterpillar doesn't turn into a butterfly without not going into the chrysalis. It doesn't just grow wings one day. It has to go into a chrysalis. And the chrysalis is a house of tension, tension that makes the caterpillar uncomfortable. Most people do not want to go into the tension. And the hard thing is it's easier to be anxious, depressed and overwhelmed than look at your life and go, actually, I don't like this house actually, I don't like this relationship. Actually, there's people in my family that don't want me to win. Actually, I have friends in my life that don't want me to succeed. And most people will not do the work to clean up their life and clean up the vibration. What do you think negativity is? People that don't see the highest good for you are not going to let you win. Words cast spells, that's why they call it spelling. That's why marketing is so powerful. That's why I can say something to you and it can rupture something in, in you that changes your life for decades down the track. Everything that you ingest is food for your soul. You have to be so careful with the life that you're choosing to digest every single day, all the time. You have to be so careful, so in sync, so in tune. And this is why I created the Six Weeks to Quantum Wealth course because it is the demolition, it is the chaos, it is the breakdown before the breakthrough, the whole process of this and the animal that I channeled is a black phoenix. It's the black phoenix because it's rising from the ashes. The people that I serve and work with want big goals and dreams. You came here because you're an old soul, because you know that you were chosen. The reason it's uncomfortable, the reason that you may be feeling anxiety, depression and overwhelm is because you're an old soul having a human experience. And you've lived the experience as a human with the beliefs, with the thought systems, with all of the bits and pieces. And then you have to almost burn it to the ground to rise from the ashes as a butterfly. So you can live in the 5D. So you can live in a world where money is limitless, where everything you desire is limitless, where you think it and you're turning water into wine with your thoughts. And it's so easy and it's so effortless because you start to realize that everything you created was from the wound of the story that you thought you were. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with any of it. It's all perfect. It's all divine. 
You don't know what you do want until you experience what you don't want. And most of my clients have been through a very similar journey to me where we've been in the darkness. We pulled the arrow back from a young age, from our dark nights of the soul to project how long it forward. And my job on this journey is to be the lighthouse so you can come through the ashes so that you can rise like the phoenix and go, you know what, I've actually got this. This is okay. And so many of my clients message me, they're like, oh my gosh, Eva, I left this relationship, I left this, I left that. And whatever you do, I'm not here saying break up with your partner and do all the things I did. I'm saying you know what is aligned for you. You're just not doing it because you're too scared to do it. You know the one thing that's going to change your life. You know that maybe that relationship you're waking up every single year isn't making you happy or that house or those people or that job. There is something in your life that is holding the anxiety present but you're too scared to let go of it because maybe there's no money on the other side. Maybe there's no this, maybe there's no that. And the truth is I can't sit here and be like cupcakes and rainbows and butterflies. When you quit your job, there's going to be a million dollars waiting for you. I cannot say that. But what I can say is that your life is the greatest gift to this earth. And when you realize how powerful you are, you would rather let go of all of it and see what is on the other side then stay in the place that you're in, experiencing the anxiety, the depression, and the overwhelm when you know that there's so much more that you came here to do. I'm gonna be so honest and so raw with you right now because I feel like people don't give you this side of the story, but it's not easy going through that phase, it's not. It takes balls, it takes guts, it takes perseverance, it takes you knowing that you were chosen for more, more than anything. For two decades, I just kept reminding myself that there is more, there is more, there is more. Everyone told me I was crazy. Everyone told me I wouldn't be able to have it. Everyone thought I was completely nuts. But I believed in more. I believed in more and I kept believing in it. And I kept saying a light beyond my wildest dreams, even though I had no one in my reality to show me that it was possible. I kept believing it and it was fucking hard. It was almost two decades of hell, actually three decades of hell, I would say. But I did it. I did it and I know you can do it too. And this is what I help my clients through. And so if you really truly feel the call in your soul and in your gut, and you know that you were made for more on this earth and you need the support because you know that you cannot do it alone, then I'm so excited because next year in March, I'm actually relaunching my six weeks to quantum wealth, which takes you through this process. Now, this is going to be 2,500 USD. And there's going to be no payment plans available at the time. But if you do feel the call, we are going to be offering a payment plan this month for five months so you can pay it off. And if you do choose to do that, I'm going to give you access to the Limitless Wealth membership for the five months so that you can keep being supported in this container so that you can start doing the work. And the truth is, whenever you energetically say yes to something, the work happens. So you will find that when you actually join this program five months early, the demolition is going to start. Things are going to start falling away. Things are going to start shifting. The whole premise of this program is from survival mode to limitless wealth. It is the caterpillar going to the butterfly. It is the phoenix rising from the ashes. It is not easy work. It is not the work where we're just like, he, he, he. But you know that if you keep doing what you're doing, your life is never going to change. You're never going to get there. So why would you not turn into a butterfly with the support of a phenomenal container and someone like me that fucking gets it? I will cry with you. I will laugh with you. I will hold you to your highest because you know that you came to this world for more. You know that you were made for more. That's why you're here. You know that you're looking at your life right now going, what the fuck? This is not what I signed up for. This is not what I signed up for. I want more. I desire more. I get to have more. And you do. And you do. But there's no space for more to come when you're experiencing the overwhelm, the anxiety, and the depression. It cannot. Your soul is trying to wake you up through these beautiful feelings. There is nothing wrong with the anxiety, the depression, the overwhelm. It's all perfect. But when you're feeling that every day and it's hurting your nervous system and you know that you cannot manifest through a broken down, chaotic nervous system, then you need to start realizing that the only reason that you're feeling that and you're experiencing that is because your soul is trying to wake you up and remind you that you were made for more. And right now you're living very safely. You're trying to play it safe and you didn't come here to play it safe. You came here to change the world. You came here to wake up mankind. You came here to raise the consciousness on this planet and you know, you know, you know that you are unique. You know that you are special. You know that you do not see the world like everyone else sees the world. You know that you're the black sheep in your family and that people think you're crazy. Sometimes you know it, it's who you are. 
you're not like everyone else. If you were, you wouldn't be here right now. There might be so many people in this space, but we are a minority in the world, but it is becoming more and more and the world is waking up. And so that is why you need to wake up faster. You need to get there faster so that you can help the people that are coming through right now. You know, you're an old soul. You know, this is coming. You know, it's already done. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being on the journey that you have been on. I know it hasn't been easy. I get it. It's been very hard and I honor you for staying in this race and for turning up every day with the anxiety and the depression, the overwhelm that you're going through. I can guarantee you one day it stops. It stops. I don't feel it anymore. And I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you. If you've heard me over the last few weeks, a few of my friends died. I've been going through insane things and it's beautiful. I'm riding the waves of life and it's so beautiful. I'm not depressed. I'm not anxious. I'm not overwhelmed. I accept life. I love life so much. It is such a gift to be alive. And I want to get you to that place. And I love that I can teach this from an embodied place where I'm not lying to you. I live in Bali today. I'm literally like, shall I go to the beach or shall I go to the gym? What shall I do? Where shall I work from? Where shall I write my book from? I just had a meeting with my PA. Everything is just how I would want it. And my son's downstairs with a cold, feeling really, really ill. And my friend is here helping me look after him. Like I'm just so supported with everything in this life and you get to have that too and i desire for you to have that because i know what it feels like and it's not easy and i did not look forward to the days where i would wake up every day and i was unhappy and i was depressed and i was overwhelmed and i was anxious but the reason that i felt that way was because my i was out of alignment i was completely and utterly out of alignment and i can tell you right now that there is a silver lining and it does get easier and i'm not bullshitting you and i'm not lying to you but the truth is for it to get easier sometimes it all has to break down first and that is part of universal law that is why they say in the ancient tales that gods took sacrifices you must let go of something to receive something new you must completely let go of something big to receive a completely different life and I know you can do it. I know you're strong enough for it. But if you need the tour guide, if you need the lighthouse, if you need the help, the support, the container so that it actually happens this time and you don't change your life and then go back to the program, back to the matrix, back to the illusion, you actually get out once and for all and you get to live a new life and you're held, then this is going to be the most powerful thing for you. Six weeks to quantum wealth. I will let you guys know about it tomorrow. And also something very, very, very exciting that I've never, ever, ever, ever done in my life is I'm doing a one year program a one-year bundle which is going to have absolutely everything in it the six weeks to quantum wealth the serenity mastermind the limitless wealth membership the entire year of everything and every single person that does this because i'm so freaking excited that i'm setting up my company in bali right now it's almost approved that i'm going to be doing bali retreats and every single person that signs up to a year with that is going to get a free bali retreat one-on-one -on -one with me i don't do one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore i've completely stopped it it's not my jam it takes a lot of energy out of me and so if you do desire to see me one-on-one -on -one in person and with the best healers in bali the best people that i've met and been with that have completely helped me in this year quantum leap quantum leap quantum leap i don't think i've quantum leaped so hard and fast in my entire life it's been wild so if you feel the call for that i'm going to be sending the details in the next couple of days so get excited for that too but thank you so much for being here I love you. I see you. There is nothing wrong with you. You are perfect. You are not broken. You are whole. The depression, the anxiety, the overwhelm does not mean that you're weak. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you and that you're crazy. It doesn't mean that at all. It just simply means that you've gone off path for a little bit and there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we get lost in the woods for a while and there's nothing wrong with that. It's beautiful because only when you get lost, you can be found. It's the duality of life and it's perfect and you're exactly where you need to be. But I'm here being the lighthouse to show you that it's time for you to get back on path and you're such a beautiful old soul and you're going to change this world. So let's do that together. Big love. Thank you for being you. I wish I could just look you in the eye and I am right now. I don't know whereabouts in the world you're tuning in from, but I fucking see you. I see you so much and you are so perfect so beautiful so powerful and i know you're gonna get through this and you're gonna change the world when you do you're already changing the world by simply being alive but when you get through this your wildest dreams are going to manifest so hard and fast and you're just going to be holding yourself going i knew i knew one day it would get easier and it did big love old soul big love